from NBC News, this is Today. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've lost that bloat by the time you get here. So we're going to give you all the, all the ways to get rid of that, that nasty bloat. So you've got to go to todayshow.com, and you have until next Friday. But it's better to get your stories in as quickly as you can, because we're going through them yes. every day. Even as so, we speak. Yes, as we speak so right, now. right now. A little bloated? A little bloated. And right. I'm so curious about this segment. We're going to figure out how to lose the bloat, the right foods to eat, the right things to do. Do not chew gum, I hear. Yes. That's part of it. Right after this. Cause you had a bad day. We're back with Eat Smart Today and how to beat belly bloat. Yes, it can strike without warning. You know what we're talking about. That awful, bloated, horrible feeling. You can't zip up your favorite pair of jeans without a fight. Help <laughs> is on the way, and her name is Elizabeth Summer. She's a nutritionist and author of 10 Habits That Mess Up a Woman's Diet. You are here with some tips. I am. Hi, Elizabeth. When Hello. we're talking about bloat, I mean, we're talking about the normal daily bloat. There are other things we should be more careful of, Oh, right? of course. Yeah, yeah, if you've got chronic, you know, if it's painful, if it goes on and on and on, if it's associated with other kinds of health issues, definitely mm -hmm. see your physician. But more often than not, not being able to get your wedding ring on or off or yeah. got puffy eyes or something, we can take care of that with some diet tips. Is it more Water retention, we said that's another word for it. Is it really water? What is it? Okay, water retention, yes, it is. You just puff up like a, mm -hmm. like a water balloon. Uh -huh. And usually there's, there's a one-two punch for this. One is get, out, get the salt out of your diet and drink more water. Okay. The, the salty Americans are eating anywhere. In other words, no more fun. No margaritas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, just don't put the salt around don't. the rim. There yeah, you go. okay. They're still good that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. right. So here we've got the we've got the salt and the stuff that we're not supposed yeah, just, to use. Yeah. You know, throw out the salt shaker. Use um, herbs. Use um, non-sodium things. Even just lemon. Squirting lemon on everything from fish and chicken to rice dishes, salads, lemon vegetables. Is great. It makes the flavor pop. How and then drink enough how much water, water. How much is enough? Enough so that your urine is either pale yellow or clear. Okay. And that two things uh -oh. will, will flush You're the... Just kidding. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. Uh -oh. just kidding. Yours is blue, Trying to right? get through a Thursday, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Now mine's blue. Right. All right. <laughs> All right, so you should drink a lot, and are teas something that are also good for you to drink? Well, people sometimes think that ginger's a good idea, and they think, well, ginger ale, that'll be great. Yeah. And, and fresh ginger does reduce nausea, but anything that's carbonated has gas in it. And once you drink it, it's that gas is either going to uh. come up as a burp, or it's going to go down as a bloat. Mm. And that's or come true. Out. <laughs> or as gas. There you go. That's right. I'm the also, one that has to say these things because you do. we, we want to keep we, the we public educated. Yeah. And <laughs> also watch out for how fast you eat. When people gulp their food, or if they chew gum, either one causes you to that's, swallow that's air. That's important, the chewing gum. And if yeah. you eat fast, you're more likely to bloat? Yes, because you, you swallow air. air. But yeah. think about it. When you go and eat a Japanese food and you have the... I always get the, the, the lighter salt with the soy, yeah. you know, which yeah. you, you can get it. But they also give you a little ginger all the time. Yeah. yeah, a little hit. Well, that's just to sort of cut the, the, the punch of the wasabi, I think. I think it's to get rid of the bloat. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. All right, so veggie, are good. these are these good I mean, or bad? Oh, well, these foods. are anti. Uh, these are diuretic foods. Now okay. we know that coffee and tea, things. of course, will help flush the fluid out of your system. Okay, so but what some else? foods also do this, uh -huh. and it, the Not reason food. is is they've got three things in them: potassium, fiber, and water. So asparagus, eggplant, watermelon, celery, lettuce. Lettuce. Lettuce is a great oh. way to go. In fact, Fresh Express has got two new ones out that are absolutely the best tasting lettuce I've ever had. Really? really? Yeah, they're called Tender. Uh, 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 sweet tender greens or tender ruby reds, they're high in phytonutrients, they're high in that potassium fiber and water. You should stay away from certain foods that cause you to bloat. Mm. What, these are the no-nos well, right here? I love foods, beans. The, some foods have gotten a sort of a, a bad gas wrap. Um, okay. And, you know, granted, if you've never eaten beans before, I wouldn't recommend... be confused with hip-hop. <laughs> which we could do, too. Right. Um, but, you know, if you've never eaten beans, I wouldn't recommend having two cups of chili before a hot date or something. But <laughs> these foods aren't as bad That's as they wrong, Hoda. <laughs> oh, no. That's another story. Anyway, small amounts of these things are fine. Um, use some beano if you're having trouble with the beans in order to cause, the, you know, the, the, the sugar. The, the, I sugar, love this sugar, segment. sugar. This okay. sugar. I did not know sugar was such a horrible thing for blood. There's well, like nothing this good about sugar, is there? No. There really well, isn't. You, you've good. tried to find something good about sugar and it, it can't be done. No. Well, and oh. small amounts of it are fine. Yeah. But the high fructose corn syrup, the, the, even the refined grains, they break down too quick. And that sugar glut in the gut can, can get fermented and cause gas. Can yogurt help you? Or does yes. it hurt you? It no, helps. it's good. Okay. Uh, you know, skip the designer ones. That's a bunch of hype. But but good plain old non-fat yogurt with without some sugar. With, without sugar. Yeah. Uh, with cultures in it, it like uh, acidophilus is great for keeping your your GI tract healthy and keeping your tummy flat. 
If you could use a, a, a sugar substitute of any kind, mm -hmm. and you probably don't, which which oh, one? I do. Which one is the healthier one? To I use Splenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm having a battle with my daughter about this, yeah. and I said Splenda, and she said another one, and I said I'm going to ask you. Okay. Yeah. Splenda. Okay. Well, but they're all okay. But Splenda mm -hmm. is even recommended for pregnant women, so it mm -hmm. looks like it's the safest. At this Thank point. you for Thanks, that. Thanks, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. All right, yes. your book again is called <laughs> Ten Habits That Mess Up a Woman's Diet." Elizabeth Summer. Thank you so much. Thank you so nice much. To be here. Still to come: Sanity Savers to the Rescue for Busy Over.